Hi, I'm Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking. And today I'm going to make a really simple, fun dish for you. Um, this is popular to take to, oh, all kinds of gatherings. Potlucks, summer picnics, um, <clears throat> football game watching night, um, showers. We take it everywhere for about everything. Um, it's something really simple, really easy to make up, feeds a lot of people, and is pretty hearty. And that's PA Coal Region Barbecue. Now, I say PA Coal Region Barbecue because it's not typically what other people outside the area think of barbecue. But when you say barbecue around here, this is what we expect. Um, it's probably the closest thing to uh, what you would consider Sloppy Joe's if you're not from the area. But it's really not the same as that either. This is really a sweet and sour mix um, with hamburger. And like I said, it's easy to do up. <clears throat> uh, a lot of us use venison. You use regular hamburger, uh, whatever you have. But I'm just going to show you how to throw it together real quick. Um, as you know, I use Montreal seasoning for everything. So I throw some of that in. I've got a couple pounds of hamburger here. I'm just going to drizzle a little oil and toss in one medium chopped onion. Is that get translucent? You want to let that cook up a little bit. Okay, I have the hamburger and the uh, onions cooked down. So now it's time to add the good stuff. And what makes this a sweet and sour is uh, equal portions, equal portions of vinegar and brown sugar. So I have roughly three tablespoons of vinegar here and three of brown sugar. That's your sweet and your sour. And then I have that's like a cup and I'm going to add a little bit more because I usually add about a cup and a half for two pounds. And I'll, I'll put the uh, length, well, the recipe amounts in my description down below so you can see that. Also around three tablespoons of yellow mustard. Um, that's traditional. Personally, I like to make it with um, spicy brown mustard gives a little bit of a kick. If you want to give it even a little bit more of a kick, if you like it, um, a little bit of horseradish goes good in it. And really, that's all there is to making barbecue. And I'm going to give this a good mix and let this simmer a little bit. And uh, then we'll dish it up and try it. Okay, so this is nice and cooked down. This is what the final result should look like. Just like this. If I think you can see it. Um, all you do is slap it on a bun and I like using here here in this area we have Martin's uh, Dutch potato rolls and that's what I like to use. Oops. And that is barbecue. I paired it with a little bit of bacon ranch um, macaroni salad. Um, that is it. I really hope, uh, hope you found that to be quick and easy. Um, some people also add molasses and relish. I don't because I think that makes it too sweet and it upsets the balance of um, sweet and sour. But if you like things on a sweeter side, you can certainly add them and that's fine. Um, I actually hadn't thought to do this. Uh, but one of my subscribers uh, actually requested it, and he's actually from the area. So, Farm Mechanic, P. 
PA Coal Region Barbecue, this is for you. I hope this is what you had in mind and um, what you were looking for. Um, like I said, we, we also, by the way, you can also do this in a crock pot when we're taking this to events where there's a lot of people. I'll throw this, I'll brown the burger and saute the onions and then I throw it in the crock pot, throw the other stuff in with it and um, take it with us and you can leave it on low and slow, you know, wherever you're going and it's warm and gives a nice warm sandwich. It's nice in the colder weather too if you want to take something really quick and easy that's, that's warm and hearty and will feed a lot of people. So, that's it. Um, I'm not exactly, some people eat this with a fork and knife and I can understand that. I'm not exactly real dainty though, as Michael says, I am not a dainty little flower. So, hmm. Just right. So there you have it. PA Coal Region Barbecue. Until next time. Bye.